Hello YouTubers, Kiva Zoe here, and we're going to do another tutorial for how to um, regarding the new game Magicka. Uh, just so you all know, I did do download and play the new Back to the Future game, Get Tannen, and uh, I am currently working on being lazy and getting <laughs> editing the files and blah 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 and gonna try to get it up on YouTube and so on and so forth. So yeah, that that's the whole story. Um, the Magicka playthrough will be put on hold until I get all the uh, BTTF uh, get tannin videos up. So yeah. Uh, so I figured let me give you guys a little taste of something. Now the credit goes to John Bot, uh, as you can see here on the Steam forums. What he did was he made um, Magic Magica Save Game Editor, and as you can read here, it can edit the campaign that save files. It doesn't support the additional players in local co-op games, and it doesn't delete the, delete them. Just can't edit them. Should be self-explanatory, you can click the Magic's label to enable all Magic's. Um, and it says, please post any uh, bugs you may find. So now, this is a nifty little program, and this is for people who, I guess, if they lose their save game, they can start where they wanted to start with the Magic's they had. Or they can even go as far as, like me, go as far as and get the magic uh, that you don't get, which is the uh, Meteor Sour um, spell, uh, unless you got the DLC. Now, yeah, I got it. I did it. I, I admit it. I used this program to get Meteor Sour because I didn't buy the DLC. I didn't buy the game or pre-order it with the DLC. And I think it's kind of wrong, personally a paradox, to do such a crappy thing. And not even release the DLC. Alright, let's just put it this way. If they still had the DLC for sale, I'd buy it. I'd buy it. That's it. But, they don't. So, what do you want me to do? So, anyway. Let's go into the program. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah. Okay, now. <coughs> and also, I wouldn't recommend doing this, but... Um... Don't... <sighs> How do I word this? Don't... Don't do this if you want to get the achievement I put on my Robin hat and Wizard hat achievement. And that's get all 22 magics. So, and I don't think the Meteor Shadow one... Or is it 21? One of those. 21 or, 21 or 22. I don't think Meteor Shadow counts. So what you're going to do is... Um, go to File open after launching. You're going to go to campaign save. <laughs> open it. Now, depending on how many slots you have used, I have two of them. I have MI, and it says your Steam name, which mine is Ultima. And you can also select, and I just noticed this, you can also select your weapons. Oh, that is sick. That is sick. I'm going to try the, the weapons out now. Hold on one minute. Let's see. Let's give me the ultimate weapons for my, uh, for my, nah, this is my second save file. This is one I was strictly using for multiplayer play. My friend says, hey, uh, Ultima, you need help. Now, eventually I am going to get all these on my original YouTube save file, which is my uh, decent one, and then maybe delete the second slot, once I have all the magics and blah blah, so on and so forth. The only thing with it is, the second play around, it gets a lot harder. A lot harder. Um, and I believe he said, alright, if you click game complete, what this will do is, it'll uh, start you again saying it'll make the game harder, as I just said. So, so long as you don't click this, it'll act like you've, you're playing it for the very, very, very first time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click save. Now I'm only going to call over to my Ultima, my YouTube one. You guys are going to see this. And I'm going to give myself the Ma Meteor Shower Magica. And this is only because you only get it with the DLC. You can't get it in-game. 
So I'm going to save again. So now, I, for all of my games, well, one game is completely filled with all magics. And this game is filled with all magics that i gotten so far. Legitly, of course. Uh, on my second playthrough, I will... Um... Yeah, my second playthrough, I will, um, get all of them legitly, and then I'll, we'll have no more need for this. Because then, I should have Vlad's staff, and whatever this blade is, and whatever, you know? And even if I don't, who cares? I'm not going to look for the locations of these. I'm just screwing around with this profile, really, to see if this program works for them, and see how broken it actually really is. Uh, but here you see all the magics... That you can get, even the summons, Death, Phoenix, Elemental, Raise Dead, Vortex, Time Warp, uh, Meteor Shower, Blizzard, Tornado, Thunderstorm, Thunderstorm. Uh, I guess I have to report that to him as a bug, because he misspelled, he uh, left out the T, or H, sorry. So let's see. Uh, I guess that's about it. So let's, I'm gonna pause this with. Crafty thingy, um, cam studio, and I will be in the game. So again, let's just recap. Your Steam name, you shouldn't really touch this. The staff, you can choose whichever staff you want. The weapon, choose any weapon you want. You can choose whatever chapter you want, okay? Uh, if you click game complete, when you start it off again, no matter if you're on chapter one, it gets harder. Enough said. Now, time and total time, I have no idea. I don't understand what that means, if anything. Uh, or if that has anything to do with anything. So, whatever. Mess with that at your own risk, or ask John on the Steam forums. Uh, and then here's all your magics. I actually have no idea how to select all. Probably an easy way of doing it. But whatever. Um, so let's see. And then once you're done, you click save. There you go. Done. Alright. So, that's it. I will be on... Uh, Magica, next. If I can end this video. Okay, hello, YouTubers. Give it Zoa here. As promised, we're still continuing the review of the save game editor. Now, I'm going to show you both save files. Now, as you can see, it says 22 of 21. I'm assuming that has something to do with the f end game. I don't know. So whatever, let's just start and blah, blah. I haven't gotten anywhere, I just wanted to screw around with the second save file. And I have no idea what the effects of the gauntlet is gonna do to me. I know it's some some fierce. Melde! Yeah, Shut up. Oh uh, yeah. I guess you can't get it in the first one. Oh what suck. Let's see. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Okay. As you can see, I have all the spells here. Dun. Let's just get this done over with so I can get all the... <coughs> so it did work. Surrender! Surrender, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bananas. <laughs> oh, I did get the wow. items. That's Remember. awesome. Okay, no mind. Let's check it out. Cursed blade, a blade ridden with disease and wicked conscience of its own. Uh, conscience. Okay. Medium physical and poison. Slow poison on hit. And then the last gauntlet. Okay, it grants the wielder mo almost vampire. Vampiric powers. And then passive ability inverts damage taken from life. Uh, arcane immunity and restore life by draining whoever is closest. Oh, I want to try that. Hold on. Uh, ow. Okay, let's see. Ow. <laughs> I guess it works for enemies. Let's check it out. So, that's about as far as I'll go up to. Especially because I want to get out of the intro part. 
for this save file. This is gonna be like pretty much my team and save file. I have no idea how this works though. The gauntlet. It says whoever's closest, right? I don't know it filled up before, but whatever. I'm not gonna argue with it. <laughs> but I mean the ability to slow, that's epic. I'm gonna flip poison on the frickin' spiders, because I know they like to poison too. Come on! Oh! Oh! What? Oh, like a poison immunity. Oh, uh, No! <laughs> Where's invisibility at? Let me get that going. Here we go. Uh, arcane. Yeah, you. Oh, immune. No, no, I'm not immune yet. Uh, I guess. Uh, oh, wait a minute. It might be a up ability. I mean, that's not too much of a bad thing, honestly. If I can get someone before I die, <laughs> get to a checkpoint. Oh, I hate you, game. Get Regrin. Let me see if I can suck his life. Seriously, need to cast a rock around. Eh, need to dawn a mystery, need to get her. I've a ramble by my knee. Oh, awesome! That is sick! Oh my god! Love you, John Watt! You are awesome! Look at this awesome weapon ability! Ah, Helde! Gibbjorn! Awesome! Come on, let's go! I'm gonna kill you! Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah, boy. Sen kom du? Sen kom du här blodjo? Uh, that is sick. Oh, I love this ability. Look at this. Wow, I can't wait to really earn this, though. Well, this is gonna be fun to mess around with experiments and do some probably funny videos. Whatever. You're poisoned. You're poisoned. <laughs> so it works. You're poisoned. And you're poisoned. Oh, no. Alright, so I'm gonna end this note on Meteor Shower. Show you guys Meteor Shower really works. I mean, some of you might know, hey, you know, it works, but... Ah, crap. Yeah, I can't get in that part. Okay, let's get under this thing over here. <laughs> A nifty little program. Uh, shouldn't be abused like I am abusing it, but then again, this is in the real save file. You guys who watch my playthroughs already know my save file, where it is, which slide it's in, blah blah. It's not really edited or hasn't been edited except for giving me that meteor ability, which you get early on in the game if you have the DLC. But they haven't put the DLC up for sale, so blah blah, whatever. Um, so this is Gibazoa, and I'm out. If it stops... Game? Oh, my fault.